used to spend £70 on a tablet, would you really know what you're getting? If you used to pay £70 on an Android tablet, I suspect you wouldn't expect too much out of it. If you used to pay £70 on an iPad, I suspect it's probably stolen. So here we have the Connect 7-inch tablet running Windows 8.1. It's available from Tesco's. It only costs £70. It comes with a free subscription to Microsoft Office 365 for a year. And you also get £10 Blinkbox movie credit. So potentially this is a real bargain. But how will it really perform? Let's see what's in the box. Inside the box you'll find the tablet. On the next level you find some documentation. Might go through that later. You find a USB connector. Pause it to go with power plug. And also an OTG adapter which turns the micro USB into a full blown USB socket. The tablet itself is nice weight, it feels nice in the hand. Around the edges you can see there's a power button and volume switch. On the back there's the main camera, on the top there's a Windows Home button, there's a headphone socket, there's a micro USB, micro HDMI and micro memory card. But at £70 is it going to be any good? Let's find out. So I've had the Connect tablet for about three or four weeks now. So I've had plenty of opportunity to use the tablet on a daily basis, several times a day, uh, and to get to know its strengths and weaknesses. I'm going to start with the weaknesses of this tablet. But what I want you to remember is, every time I mention a negative, it only cost me £70. One of the, the elements I was looking forward to the most was the use of the traditional Windows desktop mode. But unfortunately, it really doesn't work very well on a tablet of this size. The combination of the touch interface and the small screen really make it a hindrance when trying to use icons in the traditional manner. Things are improved a bit if you plug in a USB mouse, or as I did, use a virtual on-screen mouse option. But overall, um, I generally try and forget that it's got a desktop mode. There were three apps which I particularly had problems with. The default mail client that comes with Windows 8 is absolutely terrible and I've now hidden it away so I can't use it and found a very good replacement called Touchmail which is very much based around the use of a touch interface with large big pictures for email and that works quite well but the standard Windows mail program really is evil. I also have problems getting the default calendar app to sync with my Google Mail. After a bit of research I found out that this is quite a common problem caused by a licensing argument between Microsoft and Google. Um, the implementation of a alternative calendar app worked really well and even though it has very similar functionality to the default Windows calendar app um, it synchronizes with Google perfectly and that works really well. I've got one problem that I just cannot solve. Um, the official Twitter app just will not authenticate on this tablet. I've tried everything, I've done research, and it seems to be a problem that affects about 20 to 30 percent of Windows 8 tablet users. Um, and so I've had to install an alternative app. But unfortunately, the quality of the apps just aren't comparable um, to those Twitter apps that you find on iOS or Android. Potentially, because of the HDMI output, this device would make a desktop um, PC replacement. But unfortunately, I have yet to find a way which you can plug in a charging module and also use um, USB um, peripherals. There might be a solution out there, but until I find one, uh, you, you can either charge it or you can plug something in which means you can use it as a desktop replacement but only for a very short period of time as the battery on this unit isn't fantastic uh, about three to four hours of constant use so after I ignore the de desktop mode and I replace the mail and calendar apps 
there are a number of strengths that this tablet brings and actually for £70 it's a pretty nice experience. Performance is generally really good especially within the lifetime environment so the majority of apps you can get on the Windows Store. The only app I found it had problems with was the latest version of FIFA. Everything else including Halo worked really well. Um, the Metro interface suits this form factor very well and the live icons respond really well to uh, touch and this tablet is almost hand size and so the interface and the form factor really do complement each other really nicely. I actually prefer the Metro interface to Android um, it's certainly on a 7 inch form factor it just seems to suit the device better and um, you've got quicker access to the information that you're looking for the live tiles change to give you the latest information and overall it's a really pleasurable experience so in summary this tablet costs 70 pounds it comes with more than 70 pounds of useful free software uh, most of the apps I use it for um, work really really well I had a few problems with the desktop mode I guess in hindsight that was to be expected um, but generally I've actually found this tablet to complement my life quite well um, when the times I don't want to get out another device um, or a larger iPad this is always handy and I've been really pleased with the experience and I recommend that you check it out from Tesco <laughs>